staying with the consumption taxes, domestic VAT, I remember when we had the transition from ETR to Teams, uh, the immediate report we got from the authority was that uh, the transition had been very impeccable for the large and medium-sized, but for the small businesses, the performance rate was about 43%. Mm -hmm. First is, uh, as we stand today, how is it from a small business compliance with e-teams? So like I said, Teams started well, but could have been better. Now if I take you back to Teams. When you go to e-teams, you would have hoped because the, the same problem, the problem that was being cited with Teams is what we tried to resolve through e-teams, and especially for the MSMEs. Now, when that journey began, this um, sector, it was very slow. And you see, then it begs the question, was the issue really the cost of the gadget? Or was it just reluctance to onboard? So what did we do as scary? I will tell you, over time, and especially between May and in particular June, what we did because we noted the slow growth, noting how the MSMEs are actually the biggest contributors as far as our taxes are concerned. In fact, biggest contributor to GDP, like I said, 44% to GDP. An employer of 15 million uh, individuals. So you'd expect that MSMEs then would actually drive this growth. So we noted a slow um, pace of onboarding. But then what we did was we went back to the drawing board and asked ourselves, what can we do differently? And we introduced something administratively, what we call a special table. A special table has been in existence. And when I say special table, not, yeah, <laughs> not the whole table, but when I talk about a special table, is a category where we ring fence pins which we think could easily be abused, or people who are consistently filing nil or non-filers. All right? And it is to drive behavior change. So that has been used for the persistent nil and non-filers. But then around May, June, we extended it to drive items onboarding. So what did we do? We picked all those taxpayers who had not onboarded, yet they have VAT as a, an obligation. And we moved them into the special table. What that then meant was that these taxpayers had to come forward because, you see, apart from the filing that they are doing, if at all, they needed to file their returns. Because in the absence of filing a return, it means then those are automatic penalties that start accruing. So you have to come forward so that then you explain yourself, you on board on items, and we remove you from the special table. That exercise in itself pushed their numbers by over 90,000 in a month. So indeed, it worked, the magic that we had hoped it would. Okay. So, uh, so as we speak, um, would you say what proportion of small businesses are now compliant? Uh, yes, before the uptake of uh, items, we were just doing about 64% of active small taxpayers. Right now, it's upward of 